Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to the pilot episode of a brand new series called Banished. Or Blitz Plays Banished, probably will be the name of it, or the town of Blitzington, which we're going to name our town. Uh, Banished is a colony builder. Blitzington. It's a colony builder that you um, build a colony. There's no PvP, no PvE really, except you versus the environment itself. Not, not combat, but environmental effects like the weather, the cold, uh, lack of food, stuff like that. We're going to go on hard. You begin with uh, four families, small amount of clothing, food, firewood, tools provided, no seeds for farming are available. We're going to go with that. Just take a take a stab at it. Uh, medium. I've played a couple games of medium. Uh, you begin with five families, clothing, food, firewood, tools, construction materials, all provided. Storage barn is already built into some seeds and for field in the orchards. And easy is hand-holding. You start with a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, we're going to start with this. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, I've played the game maybe about six hours now. I've got a, a decent understanding of it. I haven't watched um, really anyone else play it, so it's pretty much just what I've seen uh, on my own. Okay, this is our starting area. For those of you who have not seen this game, we start with these guys that have the houses over their head. That means they need a house. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, there is a user interface that just popped up. I clicked on that, and look at this giant field. This is awesome. A big, wide open field for us to do stuff in. We have a nice river here to go with, a uh, nice brook. Brook, uh, trading vessels come up and down the rivers. Are there any? Let's go open up the map and see. We have two lakes up here. Two teeny tiny lakes on the headwaters of the mighty brook that runs off the map. Very cool. So we're going to go on. This area is where we're going to start. Uh, let's get let's get going, basically. Uh, so I, what I like to do is I like to start off by planning where I'm going to do things. And I usually start that by getting the user interface set up the way I want it. That's awesome about this game, is the inter interface is persistent. Like, you turn on these things, and they come in however you put them. However you place them down is however they stay, which is just awesome. Um, I'm gonna put all of these up, and we'll get into what these are here in a little bit. Event log is basically um, events that happen, announcements in Door Fortress, or uh, Rim World, those sort of things. Uh, Blitzington is the name of the town. We have eight adults, uh, zero, ch zero students, and ten children. Uh, 1,200 food. We have a little bit of firewood, um, stored stone in here, some no logs. We have a little bit of tools and a little bit of clothing. Clothing and tools do wear out. Uh, this is the resource limit of how many we can have of each one. That's nice to keep up, keep track of how many you have. And this is how you place the people into their jobs they are in. They default to a laborer, and a laborer is basically a jack of all trades. They'll haul, they'll cut trees, they'll they'll mine rock. This is rock, and looks like this is iron, like iron ore to be smelted into tools. So, without further ado, let's get going. Let's uh, rock and roll. So I'm going to place down this right away, and I won't build it. I'm going to pause it. This is a, a trading post, and eventually I'm going to need to build that. I'm pausing it now. The pause button makes it so they don't do anything more. They won't uh, bring anything to it. And then I'm going to set up my road structure. Actually, let's place down what I want my other things. Uh, this area looks like a good area for hunting. So let's place down food and then a hunting cabin right down here. Uh, that's a good land mass to hunt on. Right there. I'm going to turn that uh, like so. And we're going to pause, no, yeah, hunting cabin. And then on t next to the hunting cabin, I want to place a gatherer's hut. In the gatherer's hut, they they gather berries and such. Maybe I don't like that. So we're we're kind of cut off there. Let's get rid of those. Let's cancel those. And let's place those somewhere else. I don't need to force things in. Uh, I am going to put a forestry, forester lodge up in here, though. Forester's Lodge, they cut down trees, as you would assume. Okay, like that. Okay, that is my Forester Lodge. Actually, let's keep this up. No, let's not keep that one up. 
and that will be built sometime soon. We need to get houses before winter hits. If we don't, we are going to die. Uh, so what I'm going to do is now place the the food things. Food things being the hunting cabin. We're going to place these up here. Uh, we want them to be relatively close to our city uh, for logistics, but not too close that we run off all of the uh, plants and everything when we expand. So there, you can see that. And that is the gatherer's hut. Gatherer's hut is important as well, where it gathers roots, berries, and stuff like that. So let's build a road in between those down into the main part of our town. Let's get it straight. Can we build one all the way, all the way over? Oh, look at this. Just build one straight through. Yeah, why not? Okay, and then this had a road on the back side of it. So we will do that. Wow. And then wherever that started at, we'll come over here. And this will be our city center. If I can figure out where I put that. It's hard to see where you put roads all the time. Until they're built. Okay, that's our city center. Let's place down a boarding house. A boarding house is like a big inn for everyone that doesn't have a house. This will be just our basic area. Now uh, this will be top priority, so we'll go into here and make this priority. I'll highlight that. Very cool. And actually, let's keep this up over here. So what we can see is we need to remove seven things from here. We need 100 logs and 45 stone. That's a tall order. order. Tall odor? Yes, it's stinky. No, um, let's, so we need to get those resources because we don't have any of them. So let's do it. We're going to clear off this central area right here. And we're going to clear out stone. That's right there. The red is the stone that we're going to clear. And then let's place down like a, a storage barn. The storage barn right here. And uh, what else was I going to build? A stockpile. So a stockpile like that. Oh, it's too large. One block too, lit, too big. Shoot. We'll place it next to it. Oh, we can't build it there either. I'll just build it right here for now. Let's do a 5x5. Five five. So that'll be a stockpile, and they'll put all of their chopped down trees and everything in there. So, let's do it. Uh, this is top priority right now. We can see what's going on with it. Whoops. <laughs> Duh. X escape. I'm used to pressing escape, but it doesn't always work. And then we'll unpause it. There we go. Uh, Orish became an adult. Lee Nanulus became an adult. <laughs> Look at them go. They're just wrecking things, building that road right away, getting rid of all of the rock. We're going to come over here and do that. Uh, we don't have builders set up, so let's uh, get two builders going. Reserve of logs is low. Yes, we don't have any. But we'll bring them in. So they're going to haul them in, drop them off. Uh, they're going to place the, the, the stuff over there in the boarding house. We already have logs and stone placed in there. Our builders and haulers will pick them up and bring them in. Hopefully. The boarding house I kind of like to use as like a retirement home for all of the old people. Once the old people um, can no longer have kids, I try moving them into there so the younger people can have houses of their own. That's kind of population control. Look at them go, they're ripping apart the forest. Seem to go to the far ones first, and they'll bring the far ones back. We almost have full max capacity here. Very good, look at them go. Nice, 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 there they are. The foundation is built, and now they're going to start building. Bling, bling, reserve of logs is low yet again. You do get a little bit of a spam in the invent log once in a while, just uh, it's not overwhelming unless you get a whole bunch of people dying at once, then it gets a little bad, a little bit overwhelming then. You're like, I don't know why you're dying, I can't help you. You just walked by the food stockpile, you didn't grab anything, and you starved to death. But you RimWorld fans will probably know how that goes too. You can't feed somebody who doesn't want to be fed. Alright, boarding house is almost complete. 82%. 101 of the 150. 
Uh, my next priority... Oh, look at that. They already have the hunting cabin filled and ready to build. This is still the first priority. Hunting cabin. The gatherer shack is getting its stuff. That's ready to go soon. 20 of 30. I don't want to go too far up there uh, with the trees. There you go. See all of the... The food is already low. Food is empty. <laughs> but we have this up and ready. Okay, so let's uh, prioritize the building of these now. We're going to turn everyone on to builders. Just to get those done right away. Hopefully they'll build them up quick. So nobody dies from hunger. Actually, what they did is they probably brought it into here. Boarding house, inventory... Uh, there's 350 potatoes, so all of the food we brought into the boarding house. Okay, we have the hunting cabin up, and let's get this up here quickly. Perfect. So let's uh, get rid of some of these builders. Go back to two. We're going to get three hunters and three gatherers for the gatherer hut. We're going to get the four gatherers. Okay, so now we have those two are staffed, ready to go. And the rest of the people are going to continue doing what they do. The two laborers are going to do what they do. The two builders are going to help the laborers until they can actually build stuff. It's pretty neat, actually. Um, if you move, like, place a house here, these the people that move into that house will become your hunter and your gatherer, which is awesome, in my opinion. Okay, looks like I missed... Nope, they're building it now. Here comes some deer. So the boarding house is getting additional food because the gatherer's hut is getting roots, onions, berries, mushrooms. So we do, we have food started up ready to go. I keep hitting escape when I should be hitting right click. Uh, it's a habit I've gotten into on other games, but I can't really help it. I'm trying to break myself because it is annoying me, so I can assume it annoy you as viewers. All right, winter one is here. Are we going to survive? Is there enough firewood to make it through the winter? Let's check. We still have 94 firewood. That's decent. Uh, are they... They're building the storage barn. Storage barn is for food and finished goods. Yes, storage barn is complete. There we go. Perfect. Next up... Oh, this is already done. The Forester Lodge. So let's get some foresters in here. Great. I don't have any foresters. I don't really have enough people to do it either. Move that up. I don't need it up anymore. Let's do... Where is the forester deal? Hello, forester. We'll do that. Alright. A child named Lion was born. It's Aslan. In human form. Here we go. <laughs> so that's basically the start of hard. It does get kind of crazy. Um, it's a, a little bit difficult to start off. You have to get everything done kind of together. Reservoir of food is low for the winter time. We're kind of in trouble. We may, well, there's plenty of food in the boarding house itself for the people. We do have a total. We don't have any food in here. There's 44 berries, I suppose. They just killed a deer. They got some venison. And we are getting trees. So next thing on my list to do is to clear all of the iron and resources that aren't trees in this area. So let's clear all of the rock within the, the forester area. And then we're going to clear all of the iron within the forestry area as well. What this will do is they'll be able to plant more trees, not on the hillsides, to be able to plant more trees where the iron is taking up currently. Kind of, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. We'd actually do, we're, we've got a good supply of food for right now. If we expand our population too fast, we will uh, start losing food. And you go into a big downward spiral and everyone dies because they don't have food. As you would expect. If you didn't have food, you wouldn't make it very long either. So I kind of want to put a, a... I want to clear this stuff out too. 
but I do want to put two houses down here. Two houses right in here. In the middle of the gathering, hunting and gathering forest. Do I want to do that right now? I think so. As, as I just get done saying, I don't want to expand too fast because everyone can die. I decide to expand. Right? Yep. I should put out here another uh, hunting shack somewhere. Just to get more food rolling in. Another hunter and gatherer. But we won't. Not right now, anyway. Ah, we got another adult. We have three new adults. We have three new laborers now, which are awesome. Um, they're going to be picking up this iron, like that one right there that just went. And the Forester Lodge is working. How many logs? They got 35 logs, two stone, and two iron. Hmm, okay. I don't know why you're getting iron. You can see I'm picking up the, the iron down here, breaking it down, or the stone. Cool. So what do we have in here? Can we, let's uh, deconstruct this since we have everything we need. Bling, bling. Tools is low. That's not good. That means we need to get a blacksmith up. Something I did not plan for immediately. Where is blacksmith? Huh? Huh? Gotta be down here. This one's the blacksmith. Alright, let's place our blacksmith down. And our two builders will build that as soon as they can. There should be enough material right here to do it. Wherever our builders are. And this is the fastest speed of the game that I can do. I guess it takes them a little while to build. But maybe there are tools left in here. We'll have to see. I wonder why our builders aren't going. Let's turn them up. Everyone's a builder. Come on. Come on. There's no tools in there. Really, guys? What's everyone doing? They're just hauling all the junk around. Okay. There we go. Now they're starting to haul to the site. Bring the priority of that up. And we'll lock that over here. Ha! <laughs> the dude's like, I ain't got nothing to build. That's what the, the thing over his head means. Why can't you do this, though? I think that's what it means. Alright. We've got all the tools. We're getting the iron there. Very good. I'm going to reclaim this. Yeah, there's a couple tools left in that. That'll, when they get rid of that, it'll be fine. We should get the iron working, though. Now we have another laborer. Two more laborers just got up. Tools is low. Tools are low. And our blacksmith. Who's going to become a blacksmith? Somebody will. There we go. We have our blacksmith now. Now he's going to make iron tools. He can additionally make steel tools, but we can't get uh, coal without having... What's the word? Can't get coal without having a mine. And I also am going to get a wood cutter down. Uh, let's put the wood cutter... Ooh, can I put them right there? I can. A uh, wood cutter, what they do is they chop wood into firewood. Imagine that. So that's now a top priority on our list. And they're going to get all of that stuff going. Okay. Here's a do or die moment. Winter 2 inventory. They have 64 firewood. They made it through last winter on 36. We have a couple more laborers coming in. We have four children remaining. 16 adults. Very, very good. It's working. Oh, someone just got cold. These things are cold. Why are they cold? Oh, the houses are cold? Get firewood. Ain't nobody got... Wow, they got a lot of people living in there. 
Um, get your fire. Oh, we don't have any firewood. That's why. Uh, woodcutter. Let's get our one woodcutter made. And hopefully that gets some wood cut for these houses. A female woodcutter. I wasn't expecting that. But I will let her work. There is no, uh, it doesn't matter what gender does what job. Whoever's closest to it when it's assigned gets picked up on it. Alright. One of them got firewood, the second one just got firewood. They already burned up theirs. And the kids actually do haul firewood. Which is cool. Alright, we made it through winter. Without anyone dying. Sounds good to me. Well, we are in late winter, year two. And guys, I think I'm going to end the episode with that. So if you did enjoy, please, please, please support this series. I'm going to go back to the pause. Whoa, super slow speed. Uh, I've got it paused. And we have a very good start going on here. Hopefully things continue to go on the up and up. 2,000 food, but no other resources. So we need to do that. We need to get our resources flowing. And that's what next episode is going to be about. So guys, thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice.